Hey, good morning, everybody. It's your guy, Sandman PR Vlog, and I'm coming at you with some more footage from Saturday's convention in Pikeville, the con that I attended with my good pal Brian. Uh, I was actually reading some of the final numbers from how the show did, and it was a complete success. Nearly 2,000 folks in this region attended that con in Pikeville, Kentucky, Saturday. And I'll let you know, I, for one, and Brian as well, I think it's okay I speak for him when I say we had an absolute blast. Um, I have another video for you from that day that I filmed. This is an interview with the comic curator of Page 3 Game Zone and Comics. And their home city is Pikeville. And that is the store that most of the people from my neck of the woods consider their home base for buying books, figures, retro games, trading card games, specialty items, geek related swag and merchandise. That's our hub in this vicinity. So please enjoy this interview. It's got a little bit of everything. We talk on retro gaming, the up and coming mini Super NES system, how our predictions for that, um, our thoughts on the current state of the comic book movie industry and Hollywood's relationship with books. So if you haven't watched yet, please check out the mail unboxing and see how Charles and I acquired these two awesome discontinued Lego that are very, very awesome from Koi Nguyen, the SoCal Collector. And then we upped our NECA game. We got not one, but two different preds from the man himself, Mike, geeked up from Stockton, California. One of, one of our favorite, if not the most favorite toy hunter that, you know, that got us and inspired to, to do these videos. So definitely check that, it'll be uh, suggested at the end of this video. So thank you for watching and without further ado, here's the interview with Shane. This was filmed at the con this past Saturday in Pikeville, Kentucky. The Injustice storyline. We're here, uh, Page 3's booth. Fantastic. Yeah, man. Tell them about that coupon you're giving every visitor. Well, what we're doing right now, uh, we actually we actually gave away all the ones that That's we've awesome. given away. Yeah, for real, so far. Um, but what we're doing is it's a coupon that anytime you buy uh, anything at our booth here, you get a coupon go for 50% off anything at our store uh, about a mile from here. It's a, you know, it's a huge building. Yes. We've got every, all, pretty much every comic from back uh, late Golden Age, early Silver Age, to uh, stuff that just came out last week. Uh, the only thing you can't get, you can't use the coupon on, is consignment stuff. Since you know our, our consignment sure. sellers probably wouldn't be no. too happy about that. Those are um, range price, right? Uh, our systems and any game card packs, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon stuff like that. Um, but we are having a sell anyway. On and, those kind yeah, of things. Yeah, but we we are. I love sell. your selection of retro stuff. Oh like yeah, man. We, yeah, we uh, so we got, many. When you walk in their store and you look at their cabinet with the retro stuff, so many memories oh, yeah. of the era of blowing yeah. in cartridges. Yeah. And you immediately pressed start and you were in the game. Right. There was no all no, this. None of that intro nonsense. It was just more magical. Right. You know, you start up Ninja Gaiden and you're like, okay, I'm a ninja that's going around stabbing people. Here we go. Like, you know, and that that's part of the thing of it. You know, like we can test on a on a top loader NES that, that doesn't blink or doesn't, you know, do any of that nonsense. And and that's, you know, I mean, it's practical to do it that way, but we don't like to because we grew up, you know, with a blinking NES and everybody had their own specific way of, of blowing in the cartridge, right. blowing in the system. Some oh, people yeah. like, you know, people were getting these arguments of like, no, man, you can't you do You don't like blow that. in another right. homie's yeah. cartridge if right. you're at his house. Right. That's his. If Tassels, it's your cartridge, man. you Absolutely. can blow in yeah. it. But. Yeah, it's like your controller. It's like, you know what, you can use it as long as as long as long I'm okay with it. But just know that you got to hit, you know, the D-pad a certain way if you want to get the result you want, you know. So well, let me ask you this. You're sure. in the reselling market, obviously. Yeah. How do you feel about the mini Super NES this fall? Well, the NES Classic, if that's any kind of example to go by, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, it should be. But the NES Classic, a lot of people, when they bought them, 
And you know there was a huge, a huge demand for them. I mean, we had people calling day and you know day and night when we'd be playing you know D and D at night real late, and there'd be people still calling, coming by, asking if we had any because they want them for a little you know their kids. And it's like you know that 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 only advertises to a certain demographic. You know, like I'm I'm 31, even though I look much younger and better. Yeah. Right. Uh, and Plus you know, was 24. And, right. Yeah. Exactly. I get carded. <laughs> But, uh, you know, and so it's like when we get these games, it's like, you know what, it's great to play Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 2, 3, mm-hmm. you know, all that stuff that's on the NES Contra. Classic. Yeah. Con- oh, yeah. Contra's the Turtles game. games. Turtles, Turtles in Time, and uh, Manhattan and all that. Yeah. I believe that's on the mini Super NES. Yeah, it one is. Of the Turtles. Pretty much everything that's been licensed mm-hmm. uh, is on there. Uh, Nintendo has licensed. Mm-hmm. But uh, with the SNES, going back to your, your original question, it it appear it appeals to a like a bigger demographic because even even you know these teen teen kids that you know like in high school that middle missed school it era. yeah but they still understand like you know we have kids I mean people that like I'm twice their age that are like hey do you have Final Fantasy three for Super Nintendo and it's like you know I don't want to I don't want to ask him why he wants it because I don't want to talk him out of buying it because you know it's like fifty bucks fifty dollars game sale. you know but. At the same time, it's like, yeah, but I mean, like, what? I mean, are, are you, are you, is What's that a game you're digging? Or, right. like, are you buying it for is, somebody? Is it like, for your dad? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, no, man, I just, I think, I, you know, I like Moogles, and, and I like, you know, Locke, and Sabin, and Edgar, and it's like, man, you know what's up. So, you know, you want to, like, it's good to see that games like that, like on the SNES Mini, I think it's going to have Super Punch-Out, Super Mario World, uh, Final Fantasy Three. Uh, I don't think it has Chrono Trigger, which that would be a pretty sweet investment just for a console that plays Chrono Trigger because that game alone is like, I've seen it go up well, upwards of oh, four or five hundred bucks. Yes. So, what a magical game that was. Oh, it was, it was, it was yeah. It was what a time to be alive. Yeah. yeah Coming was, home from school, yep. throwing the book bag yeah. on the floor, turning yeah. on your super, yep. getting your team together on right. Chrono and just. Yeah. Then, th- but then you got, you know, you go to the school the next day and they're like, you know, if uh, if you fight Magus, yeah, you know you, you, you can't get him. Yeah, but you I know, remember and, pulling off Dark Triangle for yeah, the first time, yeah. and just feeling like a ball. Yeah, you were the man. But you know, you're talking on the playground, and everybody's got like all these different, you know, like. Well, in my game, what's weird is that you know Chrono, uh, he got uh, yeah, the you know, he got executed, and no and two this playthroughs and that. were like, the same. Oh, yeah, so you know, and that gave rise to to you know that that kept it social. You know, like these days, and I don't I don't mean to sound like the old man that I am, but like you know these days everybody's playing on their phone, goofing off with this and that, you know, sending each other texts and, and joking about stuff. And you know, and Pokemon Go, you know, it kind of touched and brought us back to that world of like, man, there's a dragon out over there, and you got like 50 people rushing over there. You know, and it's kind of like the old SNES cart days, you know, where. Where everybody's like coming together and talking about what they're doing, what they've done, where they're going, you know, and, and it's exciting, you know. And so the SNES, I think, is what uh, that makes people think of those days, those old days on the playground. Compared, what do you to, think of the price point, eighty smackers with the second controller included? Well, most resellers uh, will probably put it at about two fifty, two seventy five. That's what I've seen on eBay. That's what I've seen That's on. The the Facebook sales, yeah. There, I mean, there's people that are selling their pre-sale for real. Mm-hmm. Like that's how crazy it is. But they have a reason to believe that 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 it will get that because that's how the NES went. Nobody forces those people to click that on their right. house and buy it. It's right. So induced. Yeah, and you know the Nintendo, uh, uh, they're kind of. I don't want to say they're jerks, but that's kind of what they are when it comes to us, like they little are. people. They are. You know, they'll supply to Walmart, Target. It's, it's you true. Know, maybe GameStop. Maybe GameStop. They deliberately create shortages on their yep. initial shipments yep. to cause yep. the pandemic and the scalping, and yep. the, they do I it was, deliberately. You know, uh, yep. uh, several years ago, I worked at GameStop right when the Wii's, the the, the original Wii was mm-hmm. coming out. That crazy. Well, people, everybody had to have right. Wii Sports. Well, you everybody know, we're, Wii we're, Wii. we're Word got out, though, that when UPS would deliver us a Wii, instead of the typical brown box with the black text, there was white text on it. That's how you know it was from Nintendo. So our UPS lady, before, and and I don't know if you've been to this GameStop uh, here, but it's only, you know, 10 feet from the parking lot to the door. In that amount of time, she would get harassed by, like, five or 10 people. Now, this lady 
did not joke around. She didn't have time for anybody's nonsense. She was like stiff arming people, pushing them out of the way. And we'd have to lock the door behind her when she came in or else people would come in and be like, hey, I want one of those before we could even get them in our system. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, and that's that's good as far as uh, uh, being a seller is concerned. But, uh, you know, when it goes into their their purposeful, you know, shorting of everybody, it's really, I get it, but I don't like it. You know what I mean? Like, we're not, we, we haven't been solicited for any of the SNES minis. We've seen one NES Mini come in ever that I'm aware of. So I, I, I would imagine we'll probably get maybe one or two SNES Minis, and we'll have to go, you know, by eBay prices. So sure. people are going to get mad that they're like, a hundred bucks. I'm not paying that for this. It's like, right. well, man, I had to dish out seventy five bucks just to buy it. Well, bottom line is Nintendo, we love you. Yeah. But you guys got to do better with yeah. your distribution. I you mean, yeah. you're creating these shortages. Right. Lord knows that you have those things on hand. You're shipping limited stocks deliberately, and it's hurting yeah. the resellers, the consumers. Absolutely. You guys are causing, you're not making it easy to love you guys. Dude. You're mad at the West still, and I understand the that. The Wii U, I mean, yeah. the Switch is not even readily available yeah, still. Yeah, we've, we've had. This I, much after long. Yeah, maybe a handful of Switches. We have two Breath of the Wilds for selling our store, mm -hmm. and I mean, that was as of I'm on Wednesday. Wednesday. Is it any good on, uh, on, on Wii U, Breath of the Wild? I haven't There's played it on Wii U, actually. Oh, yeah. I, um, I, I played it on the Switch. Yeah. Uh, a buddy. It seems to be it was geared. It was. Uh, it was It was engineered you know, with the Wii U originally. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Like, that's what and they designed it for. And for the Switch. And then they went back, and, and that's why it was several years late, because, you know, Nintendo likes to do one Zelda per generation, at yeah. least. Right. At least that's what I've noticed. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's true, but that's Quality what I've noticed. Quality over yeah. Yeah, so, and Link to the Past will be on the SNES Classic, so that's, that's Nintendo, if you're too. watching, we love you, but do better. Yeah. What's your name, bro? My name's Shane. Shane. That's right. I'm Sandman. How you doing, bro? Rick Rundy Vlogger. Sandman PR Vlog. We're at Pikeville's first... I know your company had a lot to do with making this con happen. Yeah, uh, well, it was actually the e-store out of Prestonsburg, which is like kind of a, a neighboring town. But the guy that, that, that owns the e-store that made all this happen, his name's Kent Leedy. Okay. And he owns the e-store in Prestonsburg. Mm -hmm. But he is, he is you know, good friends with us. He came to us and he was like, listen, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to push you out or anything, which is why we got, you know, four tables and... And we're all set up and everything. It's and mutually beneficial. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is great for this area, for this region, for yep. this county, for this city. Yep. And look how many folks are out here, families. Oh, yeah, it's nuts. Whatever man. fandom you're into, it's represented here. Oh, yeah. I've seen I've seen stuff like, you know, Gundam model kits, or a lot of Rick and Morty, Dragon Ball Z, which is I my just favorite. recently fell in love with Rick and Morty. Oh, actually. it's good, it's, isn't it, man? It's hilarious. It's so funny, dude. I can't stop laughing. Yeah, we can't we talk too much about it on here. No, it's, it's PG, <laughs> but we all have a little bit of Rick Sanchez in this, yeah. I think. <laughs> Some more than others. <laughs> it's I, whether I you let them out or not. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, Shane, I appreciate you. Yeah, man. Page 3 is an amazing comic shop, amazing store. The folks there are passionate. They're geeks. Tell them about real quick about your tabletop area and your. Oh man, yeah, we got we how got you entire, expanded that. We have an entire room that we have dedicated uh, to magic. just uh, tabletop gaming. Yeah, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Force of Will, which is a, a kind of a lesser a known one, card right? game, but I'm it's still yeah, it's gaining a lot of traction. That's good. Uh, we have D and D crowds that come in every other Saturday. We have Pathfinder, which is uh, very similar to D and D, every other Saturday. Uh, which just recently launched into Starfinder. So there's, I mean, we've, we've got something going literally every day of the week, even Sundays. Well, every other Sunday. But, you know, every day you come down, there's there's something to do at page three, you know. And we have demo tables set up. Yep. Like any, they told us, you know, when I first started years and years ago, more years than I care to talk about, uh, he told us, he said, if there is a customer that comes in and says, I want to know how to play Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, any of the tabletop games we have for demo that and we have a whole wall full of demo games. Any of those, you can sit down and teach them to play that game. Right. You will get paid. Invest and, in and yeah, and that's what that's what really that's what sold separates me. you from the kind of shop 
Right. That's looking to make a sale, and that's right. all they're interested and in. And I quit GameStop to come to Page Street right. because I like that personal world. It goes beyond you know. the retailer-buyer right. relationship. Yeah, and I mean, there's people that are like, well, I'll come back, and you're thinking, okay, cool, you know, maybe you will, maybe you won't. But either way, I got in, and he's going to tell somebody who's going to tell somebody who's going to tell somebody about this game or that game. Check the description. There will be a link to Page 3's Facebook page. Absolutely. And from there, I'm sure you'll have a legit website. Yeah. You can find more ways to contact them, visit them. Their store is awesome. The staff, great stuff. Thank yep. you, Shane, for your time. You're a busy man. Bye. I'll let you get back to it. I love your booth. Yeah, and man. And thank you for hooking me up. I'll show yeah. you in my haul footage. Yeah. Uh, that's it. One last thing. Between Thor, Ragnarok, and Justice League, who's winning the big crown this fall? As much as I want it to be Justice League, because mm -hmm. we all want to see DC do better, like we, we were talking before before this. Yes. Uh, but I think Hulk Ragnarok is going to take it, because if you look at star power, just star power, you got Chris Hemsworth as a very well-established, mm -hmm. very well-to-do Thor, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and, and you got Mark Ruffalo as Hulk, right. which I don't know how much Ruffalo is going to be in it, but Hulk is. So Even Jeff Goldblum. Bit. Jeff I mean, Goldblum is... He I brings in King. a whole other audience right. that's probably not watched Marvel yet. Right, and yeah. they will see that and because he's yeah. in it. Yeah, and it just it appeals to so many people. Now, Justice League... As much as I want it to do good, and as much as I actually really like Ben Affleck, I like Batfleck, I like I do. you know Dark Knight Returns Batman, I love it. But it's just there's something that DC is not. Wonder Woman getting. was a step in the right direction. Wonder Woman was. Wonder Woman was great. If they can do what Wonder Woman did with Justice League and and increase that, right. then I'll feel less worried for them. Right. And I read on comic book resources that they got to be bleeding holes in Wonder Brothers. Yeah. Talking. Well, they said that they did reshoots on Justice League already because of Wonder Woman's um, how successful oh, it's been to make it more to make it yeah okay. to make the people they're like well, Wonder then, Woman was good so in the end we all win because we'll have two amazing movies in November yeah I'm looking forward to Hulk to Thor Ragnarok Hulk Ragnarok yeah, yeah. Thor Ragnarok you might as well call it Hulk, Hulk Ragnarok. Ragnarok right right Planet Hulk basically live action. yeah you know it's gonna be a Planet Hulk that the that the that the non could do, comic uh, person. Female, yeah, uh, She-Hulk will be good. MCU at She-Hulk. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Sam and Pure Vlog, thank you for liking the video, subscribing, <laughs> comment below. Page 3, Pikeville's first ever comic home. Thank you, Shane. You're the man, dude. Have a good one, brother.